Cyber Games 2009 in uh, Chengdu, China, and we are just sitting here in the players area together with Todd. How you doing? Doing good. What, uh, what about you? Uh, impressed by this huge fan base. Are you also? Yeah, yeah there is a lot of fans. Uh, it's very overwhelming. I think this is the first time I've seen so many fans all around. I think uh, you can show it with the camera as well. Like there is a lot of people. So yeah, it's very impressive and nice, but not so nice when you have to go out uh, do anything because you could just get jumped by crowds and they all want their picture, so signature. So. You think it's scary in some way somehow? Not very scary. I don't think anything bad's gonna happen to me, but uh, I wish there was a little bit more security because sometimes I don't have time to do signatures and stuff, and people don't understand. Like uh, earlier, I went to the restroom, and when I came back, I had to play straight away, and I really couldn't be late. And people kept asking for pictures and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult situation. I mean, you've been living in uh, China before, then you moved back to France, but uh, isn't that one of the reasons that you probably would make you come back to China someday? Yeah, it's one of the reasons why I came to play here, because I like uh, the audience and they're very passionate about the game and they really enjoy it. So, yeah, it's one of the reasons. So, what about right now? I mean, we know you are like, uh, let's say, semi-retired. But uh, I mean, is there a chance that you that you come back to China someday and then keep on playing? I don't think so, and I don't think Warcraft has too long to to keep to keep to stay alive. I think there's going to be just a few tournaments, and then there's going to be it. Maybe there's going to be like more tournaments in, in the long run, but not too, not enough of them for for enough programmers to keep on playing the game. So the game is slowly dying, and yeah, that's all. Uh, but you actually made it pretty far here in uh, in the World Cyber Games so far. Uh, I mean, you just made it out of the, scr of the group stage, then you knocked out Ziara with 2-0. Expected? Huh. Uh, making out of the group stage, yes, because there was just one guy I had to beat. And uh, beating Kiara, yeah, I wasn't sure. I wasn't very confident, to be honest, because uh, I really don't like to play against Orc and the map pool. I don't really like it that much either, so I wouldn't have been surprised if I lost, but I think I played pretty well and he made some very big mistakes, which I'm surprised about and I managed to take the win. But now it's going to be much harder because I have to face Happy and he just beats Sky. So yeah, I can send that I really don't like the maps like uh, Ancient Isle, Turtle Rock and Twisted Midosa. I don't like all these three maps and I'm going to have to play two of them. So. It's going to be very difficult. Happy is a very good player, he seems to have practiced a lot for this tournament. So I'm going to have to play very, very well if I want to beat him. Uh, yeah, you're going to face him in a few hours. Uh, do you do any preparations for that? I mean, do you try to watch any replays or to prepare anything special or you just go in the match and try your best? I just think about what he could possibly do and what I can do that will be the best against him. And that's it. Yeah, uh, you mentioned that he, he knocked out Sky with 2-0. Uh, I think it's kind of a surprise, but uh, I mean, what do you think? Who, who else can make it now in the top three in this tournament now that Sky is out? Uh, we're gonna have one battle of the Orcs now uh, between Lin and Grubby. So the one who advances, I'm pretty sure, should make it to the yeah, should go far in the tournament. Uh, Infi against Moon as well is a very important match. The winner of this match can go to the final or a semi-final. And. Yeah, there is a lot of good players. Fly, Fly could go far. There is so many favorites. Like I'm very impressed by the grid this year. Like when I look at the grid, I was like, oh my god, there is nearly no easy match. So it's very difficult for everyone, and it might be the hardest WCG I've taken part in. Uh, don't you think uh, that Moon probably would deserve it most to win here? I mean, he's in Warcraft for so long, but he never won any World Cyber Games. I think the one who deserves the most to win is the one who plays the best. Uh, during these few days of tournaments. And uh, I haven't seen Moon playing too much, but I guess he's playing well, because he beat Poo 2-0. Two, two so, yeah, I guess in a way Moon deserves to win, because he never took down WCG, but also I think yeah, the one who, who will play the best here will take the victory. Um, let's go one step away from World Cyber Games and uh, let me ask you the question. I mean, as I said, you are more or less retired already and uh, you said you come back here and you play some uh, WC3L matches and so on. Uh, but uh, when you look back at your Warcraft 3 career, uh, how would you summarize it? I mean, are there things that you regret or did you say, oh, wow, this was some of the best time in my life so far? Yeah, I, I'd like to think about it like it was the best time of my life. I'd, I want to erase the bad memories 
and just remember all the good things that happened to me and God knows there was a lot. So what about if there comes StarCraft 2 out next year and let's say it's going to be big as WarCraft 3? Do you think there's a possibility that you know spend a lot of time on it and try to, to be good in it? I think I will be able to beat that a little bit for fun but I'm pretty sure I won't be a pro gamer ever again. Alright, clear statement. Uh, Todd, thanks a lot for this interview and uh, I wish you best of luck against Happy. Thank you.